how's your day been? Lily, what's happened? Mitchell and Adam are teasing me again. Lily, what have I told you? You're getting to the age where you need to stop believing in all that stuff. But he's real. Lily. When are you home? About that. Lily, I need you to be a big girl about this. I won't be home this Christmas. What? You promised? I know. Work are busy. They need me to fly out there. We can have our own little Christmas. Okay. Look, Lily, I've got to go. Okay. Tell Annie Francis I said hello. Love you. Alex, where are you? I'm sorry, I missed the flight. I was stuck in traffic. I don't care, we need you here now. I know, believe me, I don't intend on staying here any longer than I need to. Just get your John neck on the line. I know, I know. You know Christmas is my most favourite time of the year. That's why I always get myself a Christmas hot chocolate. What did you get? Gingerbread hot chocolate. Oh, that sounds wonderful. You know, I love lots of whipped cream on my hot chocolate. In fact, I always have some handy. Pardon my manners. I'd introduce myself. I'm Nicholas. Alex. So, Alex, where are you flying to? America. You live there? No, there for work. But it's Christmas. Shocking, I know. So Alex, where should you be spending Christmas? In England. I was flying home to see my little girl, but work needed me. I see. And what is her name? Lily. She's 12. <laughs> That's a wonderful age. Almost a teenager. I bet you will have your hands full. Well, that's the problem. She's just started secondary school and she still believes in Santa Claus. And why is that a problem? What do you think? The kids in her class are going to pick on her. She's almost a teenager. She needs to stop believing in all that stuff. Why? Excuse me? Why should there be a certain age for children to stop believing in him? Many children around the world still believe in him because they need something to believe in. You tell Lily. It's never too old to believe in Santa Claus. Because what is happiness if not dreams and belief in something magical? Sorry, it's work. You work away from home a lot? Yeah. I see, and what does Lily think about this? Well, she hasn't taken it too well. She just doesn't understand that I'm working for her. I just want her to have the best life. Maybe the best life for Lily is to be spending it with her mum. You see, Alex, otherwise she will drift away. Trust me, that will break your heart. Excuse me? You have known me, what, ten minutes? And you have the cheek to tell me how you think I should run my life? Pardon my manners. I never meant to get involved, but a word of advice from an old man who has worked all his life. Your work, they can replace you. But your little girl at home, she can never replace you. And all that time wasted. You're right. I'm sorry for snapping at you. It's just been rough these past couple of years. You see, her dad died last year. Oh, sorry to hear that. He was sick for a while. I had to get this job just to pay the rent. You know, being a single mother. Maybe she just needs something to believe in. Maybe that's why she still believes in Santa Claus. You see, Alex, she still believes in you. I don't know why I'm telling you all this. I hardly know you. Maybe you just needed someone to talk to this time of year. Now, I think you should go home and spend this time with Lily. I wish I could, but work, they need me. You see, Alex, Lily needs you more. I don't have a ticket. Oh, oh, oh. oh yes, almost forgot. Merry Christmas, Alex. How did you...
Once again, welcome aboard Delta Flight 2928, and thank you for flying Delta. Merry Christmas, Nicholas. <laughs>